morning everyone, I'm back and welcome to Adobe Live where you can tune in for all of your daily creative inspiration. Today I'm joined again by Brent. Hi Brent. Hi Back again. in the Spark Hat. <laughs> Doug, uh, our uh, team gear here Represent. got the Adobe Spark Hat on today awesome. for everybody. Yeah. Awesome. Very cool. I'm starting to see some of you guys pop up in the chat. Hi Sam again. We've got Abby. And you guys who are posting those penguins, I asked you from Discord to do that. So I see you. We've got Miguel, Lena. What's everyone doing today? Let us know. We'll be checking the chat throughout the stream today if you have any questions about what Brent's working on or just want to say hi. We'll be checking back. So let's go ahead and take a look at that schedule today. This is the last stream of the day, um, but we'll just run through what we had this morning. So from 9 to 9.30, we had the Photoshop Daily Challenge with Kathleen. And then at 9.30, we had uh, Kyle Webster, the very talented Kyle, doing drawing and painting in Photoshop. And right before this, at 11.30, I was doing the XD Daily Creative Challenge. And right now, we are live from 12 to 2 with Brent, and we'll be in XD. So if you want to rewatch any of those, you can go on the Behance Live page and just scroll down to the bottom if you missed anything. So let's go ahead and actually take a look at today's challenge too, if you missed right before this, the daily creative challenge. Um, we will be reviewing those later today in the last 30 minutes or so of the segment. So be sure to post anything that you have on Behance with the tag XD creative challenge, or you can just post a screenshot in Discord if you want to. Um, so the challenge today was to design a search with voice experience for a music creation app using voice triggers. So that's a fun one, a little bit different. So I'm excited to see what you guys come up with. So be sure to stay tuned for that. And we'll be checking the chat as well. And then in about 30 minutes from now, we'll be doing a chat and win where you guys chat away and we pick one lucky winner to win 100 free sticker mule stickers. So be uh, sure to stay tuned for that. So let's go ahead and just kind of do a recap, I guess. Sure. If, if people missed the stream yesterday, because we were a little late with the fire evacuation, <laughs> but we're all good today, we're on time. Um, for those that missed it, why don't you give a recap of who you are and what you do and what we went over yesterday. Awesome. Yeah, so quick recap. Uh, first of all, thanks everybody for tuning in and yeah. watching. I feel like a real celebrity here. <laughs> I was joking yesterday that I typically don't get to uh, help crowdsource my designs. So this is nice to have yeah. everybody chiming in on the comments and mm -hmm. talking about you know good discussions and whatnot. Quick introduction. Uh, my name, as you saw, is Brent Davidson, and I am a designer here at Adobe, and I work on the Adobe Spark team. So I'm repping our swag here. <laughs> we have uh, Spark socks too, but that's going to require some acrobatics to yeah. uh, show those off. So <laughs> he was know. considering it. Yeah. <laughs> like, then they'd be in my face. And yeah, just it's just going to get weird that. for everybody. <laughs> Um, but we're proud of our products here at Adobe, and we've got cool, you know, team branded uh, gear and whatnot. And my specific role is a product designer, and that's a, you know UX, UI. Uh, I'm also responsible for visual design, mm -hmm. and then we have other partners on on the teams that do other things. We could maybe get into that at the end of the stream if people have sure. questions about what different yeah. designers do. Sounds interesting to me. Cool. Yeah. Uh, for today's challenge, I shouldn't say challenge because you guys are using right, it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For live today's stream. live Just stream design. concept, yeah. uh, <laughs> we're working on a video editing app for social stories. Very so cool. vertical video, mm -hmm. more controls than you get on the social networks, mm -hmm. but way easier, you know, more approachable, faster than, you know, like a professional sort of really crazy video yeah. editing yeah. program. Uh, and we yesterday, mm -hmm. we went through and did some wireframing, which is what you see on the screen here. And this is the real deal work in progress XD board. Yeah. It's super unorganized. We started by doing some wireframes up here to look at how would we fit our image, so your awesome content, uh, but also controls uh, on the screen at the same time. Mm -hmm. We went through a bunch of different options for that. And then we came to, uh, da -da -da, where is it down here? Starting to build out the app a little bit. Mm -hmm. So we've got our project list home screen here, and then the sort of beginnings of our project editor. Mm -hmm. Um, and you can see how there's a bit of a, of a uh, 
progression here where we still have some in very much block lo-fi wireframes. Mm -hmm. And then these two screens, we added an image and a couple icons, but they're still very basic. Yeah. And I like that you were t discussing yesterday how you kind of like to have that in-between phase of like, you do the wireframes and that's the very like blocky, just like blue or black and gray colors. And then you don't jump right into the visuals right away. You have mm -hmm, kind of an totally. intermediary phase. I think that's, that's a good tip. Totally. Yeah, it's really where the whole app comes together. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I always like making an analogy to like building a physical building or something because mm -hmm. it's the same thing. You've got your engineers yeah. and you've got your architects mm -hmm. and, you know, architects being us. Yeah, that's <laughs> you know, true. we're thinking about how humans yeah. are using the building mm -hmm. and, you know, it's easy to change your mind when it's just a, a little draft on paper. It's harder right. once you start building. Right. And, you know, that could be code. It could also be your high fidelity visuals. Mm -hmm. You know, you start thinking about things at this detailed level and you lose sight of what are those core building blocks. Yeah, for sure. So, for sure. Yeah. Get the main features nailed down first. Totally. Yeah. Cool. Well, let's see what are you guys thinking so far in the chat. Um, we've got Abby, Sam, Zubair. Yeah, there, Zubair is saying it's not even that disorganized. So I know you <laughs> thought it was, but <laughs> I agree with you. I think it's fine. <laughs> I like it. Cool. Uh, yeah, one question there, is it necessary to, to learn graphic design? You know, mm -hmm. these terms have changed so much in yeah. the last couple of years with software. Mm -hmm. You know, my title is product designer. Uh, what would you say your title is? Well, first it was like graphic designer, and then it was visual experience designer, and no one knew what VX designer <laughs> stood for, like literally no one. Um, and now it's like experience designer, I guess I would say. At one point, it was like product designer, so yeah, it's kind of. I feel like I'm a jack of all trades, but the titles may change. Exactly, as they come and go. <laughs> and so when I think about you know graphic design, we're talking a lot mm -hmm. more about uh, like advanced things like laying out a whole magazine or a visual system for a whole website mm -hmm. or a visual system for a whole app. Mm -hmm. uh, and then when I think about product design, it's a lot more about. Um, you have a task that a person's trying to do and, mm -hmm. uh, and you as a product designer are trying to put the pieces and the tools together to help them get that task done. Yeah. And so you can, you can be a product designer with, mm -hmm. with no visual things, but yeah. those roles, organizations are shifting and it's more about uh, being able to do the visual and the product. Yeah. This is a long conversation. So. But no, it's, yeah. <laughs> everyone always asks those questions, so I think it's an important one to address for sure. Totally. <laughs> yeah, and maybe, you know, we can focus on our designs here, but maybe we can come back to yeah. kind of that, that topic yeah, at the end sure. if we've got time, so. That sounds good. Um, cool, good, uh, good comments. Yeah. Uh, all right, we'll take one last question. Uh, okay. Hannah asks, any tips for a graphic designer trying to get more into UI, UX design? Um, it comes back to the UX, UI, product design. It's about achieving a task with mm -hmm. a software tool. And so your graphic design skill sets are amazing for wrapping that in a, a wrapping that task thing in a package that is mm -hmm. presentable to consumers. Yeah. Why does your bank app look the way it does versus Facebook versus a game? Mm -hmm. It's telling you something about its function. Mm -hmm. That's where your graphic design skill set you already have to be able to tell that piece of the story. Mm -hmm. You need to start looking at uh, how do I break down a task into discrete pieces that can be laid out onto a screen. Yeah. So same thing, your bank is gonna have a very different set of tasks that need to be done mm -hmm. versus Facebook versus uh, the Adobe Live fan <laughs> app yeah. to track all of your favorite hosts <laughs> and get we, we don't have that yet. You can design it, yeah. yeah. There you go, that's your task. Um, so yeah, mm -hmm. there you go. Good tips, Cool. I love that. All right, should we dive in? Let's do it. All Let's right. see what you got. Cool. So what's your, what's your plan for today? Do you, yeah. do you have a, a goal that you wanna so our goal really is, accomplish. we talked about yesterday, we left mm -hmm. this, these two screens with the photo mm -hmm. at a level where we could go and take it to, you know, the local coffee shop and ask some people for user feedback or take sure. it to our friends or in this case, the local surf break. <laughs> Um, oh no. <laughs> it's not even that long in the stream. I know. We're already doing it. It's the hat. It's the bro hat. <laughs> the bro it's hat. happening. 
And you didn't even take off the sticker. That's a sure bro sign. Oh, that, oh I feel you're like. right. Yeah, I got the. That's what they do. They still. leave the sticker on. Yeah. <laughs> I should do. I should do the rest of the stream like this. Yeah, <laughs> bro. So, yeah. Um, oh. So we've got this at a nice point. Let's mm -hmm. just go out and say I did see music research, mm -hmm. and you know, it sort of. Uh, said, hey, we're on the right direction. Sure. What we'd like to do now for today is bring this out to the full interaction and mm -hmm. the full visual design. And I think we're going to try to do that for these two screens that we have. Mm -hmm. uh, and then if we have more time, we'll, we'll continue on. Sounds good. Um, yeah. That's cool. I'm excited. All right. So let's talk a little bit about where we're at right now. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and click into our prototype for this. Mm -hmm. And where we left off yesterday was we've got this kind of home screen. Uh, we took a name from the comments, which was vidxd. Very uh, nice. Keep throwing out some names. Yeah. I do have one in mind. So oh, is we'll, it a secret or are you going to It's tell a secret us? for now, okay. but we'll see if there's if there's better names that come out. You don't uh, want to spoil their, their yeah. Ideas. We'll okay. use one. Uh, I think vidxd was good for yesterday, but mm -hmm. we can we can toss out some more ideas. So this one has uh, on our home screen here. Mm -hmm a little interaction, so if I go ahead and tap on this home image, it expands, and now I'm in some kind of editing view. Mm -hmm. We left this off pretty basic yesterday. Uh, there's just these two buttons. And we can talk. We can think about what are some other actions that need to happen mm -hmm. on this screen. Okay. This really gets at that difference between graphic design and, and UI UX. We're trying to make an app here that will let you do something to a video. Yeah. So we need to think more about that function sure. before we think about the form that it takes. Mm -hmm. We also are talking about design systems here today. And I have a design system file here as well. Awesome. So we have some images over there. But the main thing here is we've got, uh, oh my gosh, I just showed you the name of the app. I don't know if anyone's oh, paying attention. Oh, I didn't attention. see it. <laughs> Where <laughs> just, was it? I just panned it off screen. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. I wonder if anyone Total in the chat Total Easter caught egg. It. Yeah. Um, don't comment the name. Yeah, yeah. It. Don't spoil it. Yeah. Um, but I just put this together. It's really simple. We've got a couple basic colors. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you're always going to have some grays. Uh, missing might be like an accent color for alerts or something. Sure. Typography. I just chose one font, mm -hmm. a couple different weights and sizes. Uh, and I like for the colors that, you know, you're leaving the main color to whatever the user's content is because like the video that'll have a ton of colors. So you're not trying to really compete with like a bunch of gradients or bright other colors. Um, so I think that's a good way to tackle it. That's a super good point. Um, yeah, it's, you know, you can always add more. It's, mm -hmm. it's way harder to take things away. It's so, true. you know, try to start simple. Yeah. And then I have a little uh, set of icons here that I've picked out for, you know, a video player, mm -hmm. things that might be useful. Nice. Um, so we're going to go ahead and add this design system file over to our document that we're working in. Okay. And as you can see here, this design system file, it has really all these awesome features that XD has. We've got all my colors preloaded in here. We've got all the character styles. Um, and then we also have all of our components. So that is all of our icons. You can see those are coming in with a green square around them. Mm -hmm. And that's telling me that those are components. Oh, they're saying in the chat, let's totally spoil it. <laughs> <laughs> and then they did emojis without the mouth. OK, Zubair, right. Jordan, we're watching you too. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the you know honesty policy here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and then over here, I've got a couple shapes that are going to come in handy, I think, okay. uh, including this one, which is just the iOS system mm. standard. Yeah. So, um, uh, scroll that over my shoulder here. <laughs> Have you ever designed like a big monster that goes and like, <laughs> like attacks oh, everybody? Oh, like on the screen? Yeah. That's a good idea. <laughs> like we're not even aware and sometimes it pops up. Mm. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> See, now I've got like this box. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, I get distracted really easy. <laughs> Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and add this. And okay. what's really cool about components uh, in XD mm -hmm. is that we did yesterday copy and paste a couple, mm -hmm. but I want to go ahead and add that whole sticker sheet. Because even though we're, we're starting here today with function, mm -hmm. we're, we're really quickly going to get into where that meets the form of the thing, the visual design. Yeah. So I want to just go ahead up here to my assets panel, and I'm going to go ahead and click this plus button to link assets. And I get all these different options. And that one is 
So this is the right way to do it. I, I feel yeah. like I hadn't been doing it the right way. So I picked the name of that uh, file, mm -hmm. and these are all cloud documents, so this is available. You know, I can sit down, yeah. I could send you the file, or mm -hmm. well, you could send you a link to the file, right. you can, I can access it, it. Mm -hmm. um, all this kind of cool. stuff. And as you've noticed, this came, all those same things came in here. Mm -hmm. um, so we're ready to go, and it, you know, it didn't so duplicate, fast. like, you know, I had right, home, right. and it, it knew that it was the same file yeah. and all this. Um, we'll get into more cool stuff that components can do, like when you change them, you mm -hmm. know, those come through, but we're not quite, uh, not quite to that point. Sure. So talking again about this uh, screen here on the right with the photo, you know, this is where we want to be doing some editing mm -hmm. of our of our project. Okay. So there's probably a couple other icons that I'm going to want to have in here. And before we had just done placeholder icons. Mm -hmm. That's great for thinking about the overall information architecture structure mm -hmm. of the app. Anybody who wants to be getting in and understand what UX UI is should just like Google what is information architecture. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's really just where are all the pieces, both on the screen, mm -hmm. you know, structurally, uh, but also in order, you know, so spatially out over, you know, time as you go through the app. What's mm -hmm. first, what's second, what's third. How are those grouped? Um, mm -hmm. It's all kind of stuff like that. Yeah. So, um, we started with those as just placeholder icons. Really quickly, we start getting into that function. So, even though I'm pulling icons from a style sheet, <laughs> we're still really talking about function here. Sure. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab my effects icon here because that's probably something that's going to be fun to have. Mm -hmm. So, let's just kind of drop that in. Um, Transition, you know, if this is a video app, transitions are mm -hmm. going to be a big part of that. True. Um, and then let's also go ahead and grab duration. Okay. Because I'm going to need to say how long my, uh, oops, got over pretty tight. We're going to need to say how long, uh, you know, my clip is. Okay. And I'm not too concerned at the moment how these are coming together. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use our automatic space out tool here. Uh, I don't know what the official name of that is, but uh, sounds uh, professional. I'm automatic sure space yeah. out. Yeah, well, I'm really good at spacing out, so that's probably uh, yeah. We'll just go with that. And yeah, okay. So you know, we can think about how these are laid out for now. Like I mm -hmm. want them a little wider, or whatever. Sure. But we're not we're not worried about that. Okay. Let's go back and check our prototype. Prototype it looks good there. You know, all my icons are coming with. Uh, we can do more advanced stuff mm -hmm. with the prototype, but that's, we're, sure. again, we're not at that point. Yeah. Um, okay, so, again. Oh, they're asking in oh, the, so sorry to cut yeah. you off. They're asking in the chat if you have any suggestions of books, like, related to design. Absolutely. Like, really? Okay. Yeah. Uh, all right, anybody who wants to know books, get ready to write these down. <laughs> Get your notepads I'm going to give you a second, <laughs> in five seconds, to open your notes, your finder, your cell phone, your pen, whatever. Um, the primary book that everybody, and really everybody involved mm -hmm. in software, mm -hmm. uh, should read is called The Design of Everyday Things by okay. Don Norman. I haven't read that. And it's like really foundational book that was originally written in the 80s. Uh, they've made updates mm -hmm. to it. But it gets at things like, how do you know a door is a door and a chair is a chair? <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I promise you I'm there's listening. like deep thought on this. Okay. It's not just like a book to read yeah. at Burning yeah. Man or like <laughs> something crazy. Sure. <laughs> uh, but that one really give you an understanding of basic vocabulary like affordance, mm. which is how do I uh, get an understanding of what something might do? Okay. You know, I know from other areas of seeing software that this shape of home and its placement, uh, it gives me some idea that this is a button. Mm -hmm. And then another vocabulary from that book would be called mapping. Okay. Whereas when I hit the home button, I have some understanding of what it did. Gotcha. So I can map the home button to the page. act of, of going home. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, Don's a really great writer. Uh, he's got all these funny examples of, and with pictures of when these things are out of order, mm -hmm. like a door handle that's on the inside edge. Oh, hinge. okay. I got you. I get yeah. the door reference now. Yeah. That's funny. So huh. that that one's really, if I could recommend a single yeah. one, that one's amazing. Cool. Um, 
The second one I'd recommend is actually more about user research. Okay. And this one's a bit, one about user research and two about how do you fit uh, uh, design like into cultural context. Mm. And it's called Hidden in Plain Sight. Okay, I've heard of that one. And that one's mm -hmm. by uh, this guy Jan Chipchase. Mm -hmm. Jan is spelled J-A-N. Um, I'd start with those two, there's more, but um, yeah, if you read those two and then Google like good design books, you're, yeah. you're in good hands. Nice. Uh, Good suggestions. So, yeah, awesome. Super great question. Yeah. Chris says he loves that book. Awesome. Nice. Yeah, it's a good good read. Both of those are good reads. The second one like has mm -hmm. a lot of adventure and like mm -hmm. danger and stuff Ooh, in it. Yeah, it's, it's a good read. So, yeah. Um, cool. So where were we on your yeah. design? So I was just saying we just added mm -hmm. these couple functional icons. Mm -hmm. And again, you know, we totally just changed our prototype. We totally just changed user research. Hey, this app has a lot more capabilities now. Mm -hmm. um, since I kind of have this app in mind, we're going to just say, okay, like, user research was great. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Everyone loved everything. It made sense. <laughs> yeah. And, I, you know, I'd say that this plus button is for probably adding content to my design. Okay. Um, this magic button is probably for adjusting the image. Mm -hmm. um, this transition one is picking transitions between your thing. Okay. The stars, maybe some kind of motion animation mm. thing, some mm -hmm. awesome stuff. And then like the time that uh, that we have the clip at. Gotcha. So let's build out uh, a next step here. We've been talking a lot about the interaction challenge is how do I balance having enough room for my image mm -hmm. while also having enough room for controls. Mm -hmm. So right here you can see one, this wireframe on the right is the same thing we've built on the left. Mm -hmm. So we're following our process here. But two, like I don't really have enough room if I want to click one of these to do something. Sure. So that's when we start looking at, okay, our next wireframe. Mm -hmm. And for those who were in the previous stream, we had kind of a battle between option A and option B. And and this interaction was option B mm -hmm. and we're at we, one. That one won. <laughs> but we're keeping in mind option A, yeah. which, which if we get back to it, I'll show you. Because um, it, it could come in handy too, but we'll see. So I'm going to go ahead and move this one just out of the way. Zubair is asking, are you on Twitter? Uh, you know, I have a Twitter account. I haven't posted to it in okay. a long time. <laughs> they want to hear all those design tips. Yeah, well, maybe I should... Uh, maybe you should get back on it. Yeah. Um, here, we'll make, start making a note for end of the chat. Let's okay. Maybe we'll... Twitter books. Sure. Uh, and then, like, stuff like the daily challenges, I mean, that's really where it starts to happen. Mm -hmm. Recreating designs mm -hmm. that you see online, yeah. taking off these challenges. That's how you learn. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. really where Just it starts by doing. to. So we've only got about five minutes until our chat and win, so you guys be sure to stay tuned for that because we're going to give away 100 free stickers to Sticker Meal. Awesome. Mm -hmm. All right, we got five minutes. We'll do a couple cool things here. And 100 free stickers sounds like a pretty good deal. Yeah. I think I need some stickers on my, my MacBook. I don't have anything. This is a pretty new one, but you have one sticker it's at fresh. least. Fresh, yeah, I've got, uh, <laughs> it's off the thing. I've got a Scoot sticker. This is Aww. electric mopeds you can uh, on demand grab off the street yeah. or drive around. It's pretty awesome. I love it. So. All right, so I'm just starting to, on the, my picture mm -hmm. here, highlighted screen, mm -hmm. uh, recreate what I have as a wireframe. Okay. And let's go ahead and just start with our first uh, item here, mm -hmm. so add more content. And so I'm going to just say, you know, on the left, all of our buttons are available. Mm -hmm. On this right, I'm going to go ahead and just take the opacity down okay. uh, of these buttons to say, hey, those those ones maybe aren't available right now. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're in some different mode. And I want to be able to add a couple different pieces of content. Um, let's say I want to be able to add some text. Uh, and I'm holding down the option key. When I click that, it's just a shortcut. I can mm -hmm. copy, you know, and paste it, um, or I can just grab the option key, and it duplicates automatically, which is nice. Um, so I might want to add another photo to that, and then video, um, and let's say sticker, like you know, cool gifts mm -hmm. or different kind of things like that, um, and there might be. You know, let's roll with those now. This is sure. like a long conversation <laughs> on information architecture <laughs> of, you know, you could do like a package of titles, mm -hmm. but would those be under text? Mm. Or would we put like, 
you know. How deep do you want to go? Title basically. screen, you mm -hmm. know. Uh, where does that fit? Right. That's right. a really core product design, mm -hmm. interaction design challenge is what's that information architecture? Mm -hmm. Where does that belong? Yeah. Um, and there's like no relationship to visual design at that point. Yeah. Um, you know, you could argue like 2% and I think that's probably true, but <laughs> we'll leave it, uh, we'll leave it here. So these are kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Um, and let's just, cause we've got it easily here, you know, let's just go ahead and pick one of these guys. Uh, that's a little too bold. So let's just go with 23, and I just have Futura as, as the only font a classic. in the style. That was yeah. a good one. Um, space it out. Whoops, add an extra text. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's fine to be thinking about visual design, but you mm -hmm. need to be making sure that you're just, like, your main focus mm -hmm. is on structure. Yeah. But with two clicks, we just clean it up, and yeah. hey, nobody hates it when it looks good. <laughs> um, and now let's think about that user flow. So I started here on the home screen. I clicked, you know, into my project here mm -hmm. and went to the editor. And then I clicked add and I'm over here. So I just want to kind of gut check real quick that that prototype kind of makes sense. Um, and now you'll see here real quick, well, uh, actually no, you'll see that in a second. Not quite yet. Let's go ahead and click our add button here. Mm -hmm. I select over to my screen on the right. And just real quick on your own, think about, do we have all the pieces we need on this screen? Mm. Because I can think that I might have it, mm -hmm. but until I experience that, I, I don't really know. Sure. So let's click play. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and open the project. Hey, I wanna add some text to this mm -hmm. awesome photo. Awesome, you know, let's say I, I can add text. love those transitions. Very Auto nice. animate, mm -hmm. super easy. Um, and let's say, oh, I actually don't want to add text. Well, what do I do now? <laughs> right, how do you get back? <laughs> exactly, exactly. And this is, uh, again, like the difference between graphic and mm -hmm. interaction design. You know, right now we're, we're stuck. Yeah. Like we can't right, finish that right. task. I got to go back. Got to close the app. <laughs> exactly. So, hey, we, we need a back button in some way. Mm -hmm. So, okay, let's say you back button's usually top left, but wait, this artwork's in the way. Um, so, you know, I could do this and I could mm -hmm. put back, but man, we just lost so much real estate. We just lost mm -hmm. all this real estate. The image got so much smaller. So let's look at another way to do that. Um, I want to look down in my component pack here. Mm -hmm. And ooh, there's a down arrow. So that's interesting. Mm -hmm. That could be useful. And let's just say that we put that down arrow right there. I like there. that. Doesn't take up any more space. Exactly, exactly. Now, granted, like I had a little time to think about this, probably <laughs> on the fly. <laughs> right, right. But you just got to try stuff. You're out. taking it out of the oven, like it's already, yeah. <laughs> already done on the cooking shows. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> and four hours later, right. here's your roast. Yeah. Um, Hopefully but, that didn't take you four hours to think about no, no, one. No, I no, 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 no. <laughs> uh, but you should just try stuff out. You yeah. know, you you won't know until you put it on the screen. Uh, like I totally could have thought that the app was done and then mm -hmm. I realized, wait, there's no back button there. Yeah. So let's just link that back here and I'm gonna restart from the beginning. Um, and I've got my, open my project. Hey, this is awesome. Mm -hmm. I wanna, I think I wanna add some text. And then maybe I go through the text dot. Ah, you know, actually maybe, maybe we need to, you know, this is probably fine. Yeah. Hit that back button. And hey, that feels like we've got an app on our hands. Yeah, feels very natural. So I there love you go. That. That's actually perfect timing because yeah. we literally, right now, we're going to be doing the chat and win. All right, so let's take a break and we're going to have you guys chat, chat, chat away in the chat and we're going to be picking one lucky winner to win 100 free stickers on Sticker Mule. So do you want to do a question again? Yeah, them, yeah. Ask them a question so they can chat about something. Um, maybe what's your... Yesterday we asked, what do you have on your desk? But like, what's your drink of choice when you're designing? Oh. <laughs> or do you not drink too much? <laughs> I mean, I guess coffee is an obvious one. You know, I actually or don't snacks. drink coffee. Oh, you don't? I never have liked wow. the taste and caffeine and I don't get along very well. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, maybe what's your favorite snack? I want to oh, hear what you guys deep, like. <laughs> yeah. I have a lot of answers for Deeply that Deeply personal. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So chat away. We'll be right back. We're going to play a little video and chat away. Going 
crazy. All right, we've got pineapple juice, iced tea, tequila. <laughs> Hopefully <laughs> not while you're designing. Maybe it helps the creation. Um, granola bars, okay. Popcorn. Pastries. Mm, what about you? What's your favorite? Uh, I'm kind of a carb monster. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I have to have like Doritos or some kind of chips. <laughs> so yeah, I, so I, I bike commute and uh, uh -huh. so the, the th snack between like 3 and 4 p.m. is pretty critical to be mm. able to make it home. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want you laying on the side of the sidewalk somewhere. Yeah, so Chocolate. you know. Awesome. Okay, so we're gonna have a little name pop up here soon. Let's see who the winner is. Josh Lewis! Woo! Congrats, Josh. You're gonna, we'll send you a private message on Behance so you can figure out how to get all those stickers. And don't worry guys, if you did not win, we still have a coupon code for you guys. Um, just go ahead and go to stickermule.com slash adobelive19 to get a discount on those stickers. So thanks everyone for, for playing with us. Oh, now we're still going crazy. Popcorn, a lot of chocolate. chocolate, a lot of chocolate. Baskin Robbins, <laughs> what's one Tarzan? Person passionate about chocolate. <laughs> one person, they just yeah, keep writing yeah. chocolate. Yeah, Nikot's really <laughs> down with chocolate. <laughs> Oh, hi, Nikat. I remember you on Twitter. <laughs> cool. Thanks, guys. Pretty awesome. Yeah. All cool. right. All right. So, um, yeah, so we just jump back in here. We've mm -hmm. got, like, kind of the makings of an app a little bit yeah. already. Mm -hmm. You can start to see how some of these high-level decisions we made are now narrowing us, narrowing us down mm -hmm. to more of a focused path. Yeah. And a lot of when you're working with team members in design is to understand just where you're at in that. Mm -hmm. And so we as a team could go super narrow, mm -hmm. but then also together really quickly back up to the top and try sure. another and try another direction. Yeah. And we've got good team team members who kind of understand that process. It's easy to, to move between. Yeah. Do you guys? I'm curious um, for myself. Do you guys sure. do a lot of research, do, or do you have researchers on your team? Yeah, that's a good question. Every team's different. Mm. Um, I would say as an industry, product designers mm -hmm. are being asked and expected to do more of the design process. Mm -hmm. So it used to be that you had, like you said, your visual designer, yeah. your UX designer, yeah. your researcher, mm -hmm. your writer. And, you know, on big teams, that's often can still be the case. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, increasingly it's one person sort of trying to do it all. Yeah. Uh, we have a person on our team who does do a lot of research. Mm -hmm. She just did a sort of couple trips around the country doing interviews, nice. quali you know, really deep mm -hmm. ethnographic qualitative stuff. Mm -hmm. We're sort of in the process of bringing all that together. Yeah. That's something that's guiding the product kind of long term. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like high level vision. Yeah. Um, we do do a lot of research, like if this was, you know, a new feature we were building. Mm -hmm. um, at different points, and it just depends on kind of how much confidence you have in it versus sure. what kind of questions you have. Yeah, so. makes sense. Again, that's a long answer. No, no, <laughs> I'm sure everyone and myself included love to hear this. Yeah, yeah, I will right, we'll put this on the, uh, <laughs> the potential list for, yeah. Um, maybe I should just like transcribe my answers and then write a book out of it. <laughs> there yeah, you go, yeah. we've given you plenty of topics. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, okay, yeah, so, mm -hmm. Yeah, I think about research now. <laughs> I want to like, like walk out of the hallway with you guys and bring the Adobe Live crew with yeah. me. I think we can do that Just today. pick up like the GoPro. Yeah. Like how they do on Jimmy Kimmel or whatever. Yeah. And they like go in the back. That's not a bad idea. <laughs> or like SNL. <laughs> hey guys, follow along. We should do that sometime. It'd be fun. I'd like that. That'd be fun. <laughs> um, okay. So yeah, so we've got this ad screen. So let's keep going and, and, and mm -hmm. add another so we can flush this out a little okay. bit and say we're, get, say we're getting ready for our next round of, sure. of research. So I can open my project. You know, I can add some stuff. Mm -hmm. um, let's go ahead, because I want to get some text on here. Uh, so we just made this screen. Mm -hmm. So these two that I have highlighted uh, are the, uh, just like the controls kind sure. of screen. And you can see how we've made space. We've made an interaction pattern. Mm -hmm. We've made space down here for all of these other options mm -hmm. to, to live in. And so I can already think forward and say, wait, I, I think that's looking good. I think that's a promising direction. I, sure. can, I can put all that stuff there. So I'm going to go ahead and move uh, this artboard out of the way. Wow, Zubair says you should do a public seminar. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. I like that. Well, uh, we'll have to get like on stage out of the studio or something. Yeah. <laughs> you get the booming voice echoing through the, <laughs> through the room. So you hear me talk about design. 
And uh, yeah, so let's say we want to add uh, add some text here. And I'm probably going to take a little bit of a shortcut. We're just going to drop some text in that's already, because uh, I know what I want this to say. Mm -hmm. um, so I just hit our text tool. It's gray right there. We're going to style it. Um, hold down the option key. A second one comes up. Um, and so this project is going to be called the Baja Days. Ooh. And so for those of you that don't know, there's the Baja Peninsula of Mexico. And it's a really popular place for surfing. There's a lot of waves. Mm. Um, it's a pretty, pretty fun place cool. to go to. So that's the surf trip. Um, and we'll just style these just enough at that right fidelity. Mm -hmm. um, let's actually just leave it as this, but we'll pick our Futura. Pick the biggest one. We're going to break our style here a little bit. <laughs> uh, so it's Futura. It's nice and big and bold. Let's just leave it like that for now. Go down here. And you know what's happening inside our canvas here, our mm -hmm. insider image, is not the same UI style. It's not UI. Yeah. You know, it, this is my output. Right. So I, I could go and pick a script font. Right. And, and that'd be fine. Whatever you want to do. Yeah. So even though I'm starting kind of from my style guide, like mm -hmm. we could we could take this in a different yeah. direction. You could do Comic Sans if you so <laughs> desire. <laughs> All right. Hopefully not. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> or uh, there we go. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> For anybody that doesn't know, those are kind of the black sheep fonts yeah. of. Uh, they're, they've lived a nice life, and it's time to move on. <laughs> um, I wonder okay. what the next one will be like in 20 years. Like, what's the one that everyone's like, oh, no. They're pro we're probably <laughs> going to go back to like crazy script font and super yeah, serif yeah. and, you know, everything's so flat right now. So I'm just going to kind of make a little bit of an ad hoc shortcut here. Mm -hmm. uh, so if I click text, boom, Baja Day shows up. And hey, that's fine. You know, we're missing a step of, hey, typing in, but mm -hmm. um, we're trying to kind of get that high level concept together. Sure. Um, and then, as you notice here, I can go into prototype and I can hit Command A. It shows me all the connections between the artboards, and automatically this screen, this artboard here, it's it's had the uh, down arrows mm -hmm. prototype uh, connection here back to the editor screen. That's uh, nice. So you connected. didn't have to re redo all. Exactly. That. Just copied and pasted. Yeah. So cool. it just that just comes with, and mm -hmm. that works nicely. Um, all right, let's keep going. We're making good progress here. We're going to maybe come back to this wireframe, but we don't yet need it. OK. This was the progression. Small control, medium control, mm. big controls. Gotcha. We just haven't hit a spot where we need that yet. Sure. So, oops. so let's go ahead and, man, I don't use the trackpad. Breaking out the mouse. Lot. Oh, yeah, OK. Yeah, let's use the mouse, yeah. I always use the trackpad. Uh, OK, so let's do the next one. We'll just copy this artboard or stock from here. Mm -hmm. And I want to kind of reset a little to that space I was at. So we're going to delete those and go back in our design mode. And let's bring the contrast of these up. So now I want to think, um, let's do, which one should we do here next? Let's just do text. Um, no, we'll do text second because there's kind of a surprise there for an interaction. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's do an easy one. Um, let's do just the magic adjustments. Okay. Okay. So. So this is like auto auto adjust. Uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds great. Or what were you thinking? <laughs> well, I was just thinking like little adjustment tabs, but we can fit a okay. we can fit a magic button in there too. So I'm just gonna go ahead and link our magic. Adjust button. Mm -hmm. You know, she brings up a good point of like, what are the features that you think you should have in an app to make it useful for users and competitive in the marketplace and all mm -hmm. this stuff. Um, and you know, we could have a whole different session on like, what are those right features? Yeah. Right now, we're kind of just trying to figure out what would, how could this come together? What would the mm -hmm. feel be like? Sure. And it's important to remember that like that UI design and the discussion around what features you put in are separate. Mm -hmm. They mm -hmm. come together at the end. Yeah. Um, but you know, you could have a, a discussion in Excel about the strengths and weaknesses of different features. Yeah. Uh, Do you tend to UI. like to like come together at some point and then kind of like go back and forth about 
talking about the features and then we're designing and then we're talking about the features or do you like to just do that at the beginning or end? Yeah, that's a good What's question. I think like you come together and say, hey, we want to do this video app. Mm -hmm. And then you say, okay, uh, what's the main thing it's going to do? Mm -hmm. It's going to be more powerful than Instagram, but mm -hmm. simpler than a professional. Sure. Okay, what's the main piece of that? Well, maybe it's yeah. like these adjustments. Mm -hmm. Okay, what adjustments? Let's like all get in an Excel document together and mm -hmm. give like a scoring ranking of different adjustments. Okay, yeah. top three. Okay, put them in a screen. Mm -hmm. Okay, take it out to customers. Mm -hmm. What do they think? And then you come back and restart yeah. kind of that yeah. process. Very interesting. Yeah. So, um, cool. Okay, so we're gonna need. I think we've got some icons over here that are gonna help us. Uh, maybe. What do I have in? Look at my cheat sheet. <laughs> um, I actually don't. So we'll just put placeholders there real quick. Okay. Um, so we'll just put a uh, circle, a square, a triangle. And we're just gonna go ahead and make all these the same width. Let's make them like, oops, let's lock that ratio so we don't get crazy oblong uh, circles. <laughs> and we'll just make them 15 pixels as kind of like mm -hmm. a, it's kind of a good size. Uh, there's more stuff, like you actually want a 40 pixel boundary around something that you're gonna touch on a touch device. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm just adding kind of some extra space here between so that my finger actually has a stand right. a chance. And when we were talking about... You can't uh, just use your pinky or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe you've got really narrow <laughs> fingers or you are very... Maybe you're like 10. And, yeah. Uh, <laughs> small hands still. <laughs> um, and so I was talking about like balancing controls and whatnot. You know, we because this is a kind of a flexible layout, mm -hmm. I just made that a little smaller and there's like no harm. Yeah. You know, it fits. Totally. Um, and I'm gonna make uh, just a couple lines here. And so see, I'm kind of almost wireframing again. You know, this isn't mm -hmm. very polished. Like sure. this isn't finished. And I do have this little selection circle here in my components. So uh, this would be, you know, you guys see where I'm, where I'm going here with this. Mm -hmm. I wanna have those those items. Some sliders. Yeah. This could also be a good example if we think we want to have some adjustments, but we're mm -hmm. not sure what. Sure. We could see how that looks in the interface. Um, and then same thing back in prototype. Our back button is connected and we could go and connect these two as well. So let's mm -hmm. just do, oops, wrong one. Uh, plus button goes to here and then boom, magic, bit of auto animate, a couple things we could work through there. Back nice. to this plus button, add text. So see Looks how that's great. coming together. So let's do one more screen. Let's add one more okay. screen, and then I think we'll go and kind of like refine some of these. Okay. And what I want to do is let's say that we have um, kind of added our text. I need to make a little mm -hmm. more room here. We'll just keep rolling. Mm -hmm. These are other parts of the app, but um, need to make a little artboard room. And let's say that I've now added that text and I'm back in uh, my like same view here. Um, so we've got Baja days, paste them in here. You know, the only thing that I wish, like when you're zoomed out um, in XD is that I wish the titles of each artboard kind of like got larger so you could see them because you really do kind of have to add those, like the text titles. Otherwise totally. you really can't, you can't see from a higher level view. Yeah, that's so a good, good that's that a good thing that. about staying organized. Um, so let's say, uh, we'll just like kind of give, you know, we're calling this the editor, mm -hmm. um, editor plus text, editor, Add, and we're actually kind of mm -hmm. revealing a little bit of that information architecture here. Mm -hmm. So I'm in the editor, but this is uh, effects, let's call it. So boom, helps stay organized here. Um, and yeah, so here we've got, now I just did a little trick here with the path, if you saw that. So I'm gonna go ahead and add text. Boom, I'm gonna add text. Mm -hmm. And I hit down, and now there we go. Now I'm down on this awesome. artboard. Um, 
And then let's say I want to add, I want to um, actually edit that text. We'll put it here so it stays okay. on, on screen. Um, so now I want to be able to click my text mm -hmm. and then have it go into somewhere here. Okay. So I'm going to put a little selection box around that, mm. just drawn from scratch here. I want that to be white. Let's make sure it's thick enough so we get up to three pixels there. Um, so what do you think, this is a question I have for you. So yeah. what do you think would happen if you have like a white background or like that part of the video on the bottom is totally. white? Totally, yeah. So we what can would just, you suggest in that case? We can just pull the opacity down here mm. a little bit of that. Okay. So let's pretend this is a really light image. Mm -hmm. Um, we have a number of options. Mm -hmm. This is like two things that we can do is one, just add a shadow. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it gets a little tricky here because like this is your export video. So yeah. if you want that or not, but mm -hmm. and in general, um, you could just kind of do this in this Y thing mm -hmm. is how, uh, where the shadow is vertically. Okay. And then B stands for blur. Uh, and so if I just take that down to like a three, it's a little tighter. And then this is opacity of the shadows. So if I go to zero, it disappears. And this may, might be hard to see on the stream, but I'm coming up just slightly. Mm -hmm. And now that, that uh, yeah, uh, on your screen, I can see it a little better. Yeah, maybe if I turn it on or off, you might be able to see the difference. The other thing we can do is add just a little bit of a border. Mm -hmm. So okay, that's too much. That's mm -hmm. Microsoft Office. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm actually going to go uh, and, you know, I could use like a palette color or like a really light gray. I don't have a gray that's, I think, light enough. Mm -hmm. um, but here, we'll zoom in real big and you can probably see it then on the, sure. on the feed. So that's a white border, so basically no border. And as I come in, just very slowly here, you see a little bit, mm -hmm. a little bit more of that. Yeah. Um, and then as you zoom out, oops. You know, I get another way that I can sort of add yeah. some some definition. Nice. So yeah, there's pros and cons to the border mm -hmm. shadow. It depends on. The but content. you have a few different options. So that's yeah. Good. So there you go. That's a good question. Comes up so a lot. we have about 40 minutes until our design feedback. So make sure that you guys submit all of your uh, designs from the XD challenge, um, either on Behance or on Discord. And if you're doing it on Behance, be sure that you add the keyword. Uh, XD Daily Challenge for us to be able to search it up. And again, in Discord, you can add the link, or if you just want to add like a screenshot or two of, of your designs, and both Brent and I will give you some feedback. So that's at the end, um, the last like 30 or so minutes of the stream. So stay tuned for that. Awesome. So the, you'll notice, okay, I've selected this text, um, and we're gonna make this kind of like a bounding box thing here. Mm -hmm. Everybody will recognize this. Um, and then the uh, UI problem that we run into, UI UX problem that we run into, is now none of these buttons are actually mm -hmm. relevant. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, we want to be true. editing the text. So sure. I grabbed these, um, which is a little font icon mm -hmm. and a little color palette icon. Um, and then we go ahead and just move these off. Uh, I think I can group them. And I'm just going to move them off the artboard here. Um, and for like our prototyping, you can leave them just kind of on the edge there, mm -hmm. and then they'll animate. I'll show you how that works in a minute. Boom, let's line these up. Mm -hmm. um, let's kind of leave them centered like that. Um, and then let's say, okay, so these are my text options. And I want to do font first, so let's take the opacity of that down. Um, and then I want to add some font options here. So I'm going to get some text that's not white. <laughs> Let's go back over to our styles here. Let's do 13. And this is going to be Futura, which is what we're already in. Mm -hmm. So get that selected. Um, Futura. And then we can use repeat grid here to just mm -hmm. make a, like a, just saves you some copy and pasting. Yeah. Um, and let's just grab some other fonts here. Okay. I don't know, throwing out Helvetica is popular. Um, Do you have a favorite font right now? Bayshore is pretty styling. Bayshore. Let's zoom in so you can see these. Oh. Uh, Future is my favorite font right now. That's why we're using it. Yeah, video. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bayshore is nice too. I like that. Uh, and it goes with the 
like theme you've got going on here. Totally. By the by the sea. This Brex one's pretty stylish. <laughs> um, and then I don't know what's another. That one's a little cheeky. It's almost <laughs> Comic Sans, but I don't know if we can. What's a good one? What, what's a font you like? Um, I like Poppy. I think that's what I used for the. You might not have it. I like to have that. Let's do rail railway. I like Looks you good. know they're all clean uh, yeah. things. So these are the fonts I can choose from, and then we need to get kind of a selected state, mm -hmm. which I have a selected item mm, okay. component here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it. Oops, it disappeared. Uh, so I gotta change my font to white. Okay, that's fine. And then a deselected item um, mm. UI here. And, oh, we need to change the names. <laughs> right, they're not all future, <laughs> yeah. I guess. Yeah, a little Helvetica, <laughs> Bay Shore, Brooks, uh, Railway. There we go, that W, nice. this W is kind of the trademark of mm, Railway. Okay, um, huh. That's a nice. That's really nice. Nice one. And I'm not going to worry too much about our, mm -hmm. our alignment here at, sure. at the moment. Um, we can repeat grid this again. Yeah. I think that really helps differentiate between like the first and second line, though, between those icons on the bottom. Oh, with the, and with the, the font outline. choices? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and that's a good, you know, I keep saying all these steps of the process are different. Like mm -hmm. at the end of the day, they all work together. Mm -hmm. um, and so in this case, uh, you know, this is uh, a visual consideration. Mm -hmm. One quick thing, so this is a component, this green circle, or rectangle that's rounded. <laughs> um, but with Components NXT, I can change this individual instance mm -hmm. to fit Helvetica there, uh, and it didn't change the other ones. That's nice. And that's a pretty, that's a pretty major mm -hmm. uh, feature that they fit in. Um, it takes a little longer to explain that, like in how it impacts your whole design mm -hmm. workflow, but Gotcha. We'll just kind of space these out here. Uh, quick rule of thumb, um, the padding, this is very visual design, <laughs> but the padding here, this this mm -hmm. width, um, should be about half of the height of your thing. Mm -hmm. um, that's just kind of like something to, to eyeball. Nice. So like this feature one probably needs a little more room here. So cool, okay, so we're building a nice navigation. I'm gonna group these two so they stay on the screen there. And then, if I group each of these together, uh, I can then use our distribute tool, automatic space out, mm -hmm. whatever I called it before. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's <laughs> called horizontal distribute. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds more right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and there we go. So let's recap here. We've mm -hmm. built kind of a cool flow. Yeah. Um, so I'm in the editor. I want to mm -hmm. go ahead and add some text. It's awesome. Add the text. Oh wait, I want to edit, I want to see what, maybe change my font. Cool, now I'm manipulating mm -hmm. that. Awesome. Um, you know, we could make that scroll, mm -hmm. different kind of stuff. Um, That's so, looking really great. Yeah, it's kind of fun Making here. Making a lot of progress, yeah. Um, how are we doing on time? So we have 35 minutes left. Yep, we got 35 minutes until the design feedback. So again, keep submitting those and I'll be checking in Discord to make sure um, there's some new designs we can review. Cool. So I'm going to simplify this just a little bit. I'm going to say, mm -hmm. hey, we really like this Baja Days. Um, you know, once it's applied, like, mm -hmm. it'll still actually show up in, in all the previews. Sure. And this will simplify our, our uh, UX here just a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, and actually, this would be a good moment to make this a component. Mm -hmm. So this is not necessarily for the style sheet. Sure. Because this is just going to live in this one yeah. uh, video example. So I'm going to hit Command-K, or I can right-click on mm -hmm. that group. Say make component. And then I want to uh, bring this across our other screens. And this is where it's pretty cool because I should be able to make this, oh, we gotta center that. Uh, doesn't look very centered, we'll fix it. <laughs> um, let's see here. It might be because you have responsive resize on maybe. Yeah, I think I need to be in the group to make mm, it uh, yeah. bigger. All right, my uh, component, I think I need to go in here. But then isn't gonna mask it's okay, it. doing it uh, by hand. <laughs> all right, sorry, XD fail. Howard, if he's <laughs> listening, he can save me. Um, there is a way to do this. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll do it by hand here for the moment. 
we will componentize some things, but I'm just running a little bit of a trick because they're all going to be mm -hmm. at different sizes. Mm -hmm. um, but all like all these ones are pretty much the same same size, so we yeah. will, we'll come back to that. So I'm just going to leave these all over. So Ty is asking if um, Adobe Slack is a thing of the past. So we do still have the Slack, but we're trying to switch everyone over to Discord just because we don't have a file limitation like Slack did. So when you guys are submitting all of your um, screenshots and of your designs, uh, you can submit unlimited. So you don't have to worry about that anymore. So that's why we went over to Discord. Cool. All right, so all I did that was just to simplify our prototyping here a little bit. Mm -hmm. I'm actually gonna delete that screen. Uh, all these other pieces still stay relevant. Anywhere where we've got text, I'm going to link our prototype up here to mm -hmm. go to our text edit screen. Okay. Um, and then we're going to pull this forward into a nice app here. Okay, so I'm going to put a little more screen real estate here. So we can just kind of do like a quick recap of what we're thinking about mm -hmm. how this is. Feels like a bit of an app. Yeah, it does. We've got a couple of features in here. Real. We can change, you know, we can do some editing of our picture. We mm -hmm. can change some fonts. Um, you know, is this everything that this editor is? I mean, you know, maybe there's more advanced mm -hmm. stuff we can do, but we want to wrap our heads around it, do some quick user research, see where people are at on, on this idea, mm -hmm. on the UI we've used. Sure. This right now is like plenty enough to do that research. Yeah, for sure. Uh, we've got a, a decent visual style that's just kind of happened to be white minimalist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, we haven't, it's really, we haven't really spent much time on like styling Baja days, whatever mm -hmm. this and that. Um, but I want to show everybody on the feed here how we go to that next step. So let's say, hey, you know, research came back great. We've got no changes. By the way, that never happens. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> or you're paying them to say that. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Or if it does happen, you did your research wrong. Yeah. <laughs> confirmation bias. Um, let's talk about those sort of next steps. Mm -hmm. So now I do want to start thinking a little bit about visual design. Uh, I want to think a little bit more about how that motion is coming together. Okay. And I want to start getting at, first and foremost, what are some of the interaction pieces that we're missing here? Okay. Uh, we want to make sure that there's no major holes that we've left open mm -hmm. where some surprise, oh, we forgot the back button. Right. <laughs> or we forgot the forward button. Mm -hmm. uh, or the diagonal button. No, that one's right. a joke. Uh, <laughs> and those things can really catch you later. You're like, oh, mm -hmm. we, spent all, we spent two weeks right. on visual design and we forgot a whole page of the right. application. Right, right. <laughs> You know, and now we don't have space for it, so we have to redo everything. Exactly. And, you know, we call ourselves professionals, but you'd be surprised at how easy it is to miss these pieces yeah, if you're not yeah. validating and doing testing and, and uh, really making sure that you've gotten each piece at each step. Mm -hmm. um, I'm also going to take this hat off because it doesn't actually quite fit my head very well. <laughs> uh, so. Sorry, Spark Team. Yeah. We love you, though. <laughs> we could, like, here, we're not going to use the GoPro, so we'll, we'll do this. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Get some spark swag. Um, okay, so a good spot to dive in here. Let's just do a couple interaction pieces. So one question I have yeah. is, how do we get back to the home page? Great question. So we probably need to fit a back button in there somewhere. Mm -hmm. um, this is a really good example of like a hard trade-off. Mm -hmm. And there's also another piece here. These are mm -hmm. iPhone 6, 7, 8 mm -hmm. size screens. Right. 16 by 9, so it's, or well, 9 by 16, yeah. the, you know, portrait widescreen. Um, and I purposely started us here because mm -hmm. it is more restrictive than what you have on iPhone 10. Mm, okay. Or some tablets. Yeah. Um, or some I was going to ask why models. you did that. I forgot. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so even though 10 is like the latest and greatest, mm -hmm. <laughs> guess what? There's still a lot of potential customers right. for right. your app on 6, 7, mm -hmm. 8, even 5. Mm -hmm. um, it's better to do it that way. May 4 rest in peace. Down. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I used to have that one up until recently. <laughs> um, and so it's way, yeah, yeah, sorry, I was just talking over you, but it's way okay. easier to move yeah. uh, to the bigger screen than right. to the smaller and go screen. Backwards. And sometimes you might have to make compromise. Mm -hmm. So let's look at a back button that, like, I really don't want to make this yeah. any smaller here. So we <laughs> I might, shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> no, no, this is good. This is real life. This is real life. These are yeah. things we have to add. Um, let's look at our style sheet here. 
Zubair said he forgot to include a login screen once. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty big Probably one. need that to, to get in. <laughs> So we do have the benefit of saying, if this is gonna be only vertical story size video, mm -hmm. we can kind of choose where this button goes. Sure. If this was an app that would accept any size mm -hmm. design, you know, maybe it'd be a little harder to choose that right spot. Right. So we're gonna go, uh, and I'm just gonna, I don't think I have a back button. And right now it looks quick. like the girl is like really big right by you on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Like, right, how do we have another scary. person here? Yeah. Uh, we're just going to do that. Um, I think that's Laura and Never, who's a really oh. famous uh, Look surfer. Look at you. You know, you're surfers. Yeah. Um, so we're going to squeeze it in here. And I'll be honest, like, I'm not, mm -hmm. I'm not, I'm not in love with this. <laughs> uh, but we're going to make it white, and we're going to mm -hmm. use that trick that we had covered earlier of sure. white. Uh, so we can do that. And let's just add a shadow. And you, you, you know, you can have like a long visual design discussion of mm -hmm. shadows and what colors should they include or not include. Like, yeah. you know, if this was a blue button, you might want to add some blue into the shadow color, mm -hmm. um, stuff like that. But see, real quick, I just pulled my 13 point size. I didn't have to think much about it. Um, I just drew that sort of back button to match. We're going to group it so we can select that nicely in, mm -hmm. um, in the prototyping. And this one, I'm definitely going to component. Uh, I'm going to give it a prototype link back to the home. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste that. Uh-oh, see, we found another problem. Mm. Back is now going over all of this stuff. So the problem mm -hmm. here is now that's super now we low can't contrast. Really see it, yeah. Let's see. So I mean, these are components. So I'm going to go ahead and right click because mm -hmm. so I, I want to edit the, the main one. Uh, reveal components and assets. It's over here. Uh, edit master component should bring us over to the main one. So this will make sure that every single thing I do to this is applied to the others. Nice. Um, I actually don't totally know if this border is going to be sort of the right thing. 0.5. Let's make this a little darker. Uh, border color. Nah, that's that's gonna take us a little longer to uh, hmm. to dial in. Um, so let's go ahead and take the easy way out here, which is just to make <laughs> it a pill button. Mm, okay. And this is like, honestly, as a mm -hmm. product designer, UX designer, this is like what you spend a lot of time doing. Yeah, those little <laughs> details. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So do we uh, do an overlay or like an underlay? Do we do a button behind it? Do we do, you know, drop shadow like you were saying? Totally. Um, so I'm going to go into my thing here. I'm going to remove that shadow. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go over my colors. Uh, let's use this dark one. And then for the, f those colors automatically select the fill. Because mm -hmm. if they selected like border and fill, you'd end up kind of messing right. up a lot of your shapes. Right. So for, for border color, you just go and eyedropper it like that, like I just did. And hey, at least like here, you know, I'm trying to keep stuff off the canvas, mm -hmm. but pretty quickly we're able to do this little button. And you know, I don't think that's too bad actually, because it's keeping with like the minimalist style that we have on the bottom, so. Exactly. And the other thing you, you have to kind of keep in mind is, um, how did I not get that in the, whoops. I thought something didn't work there. My mm -hmm. uh, background wasn't actually in the button, in the component here. There we go. All right, so we've got that component set. Mm -hmm. um, and I might want to add just a very small shadow to that. Don't go to overdo it. Everybody's like really big on these crazy big shadows. <laughs> They've got to be functional. Yeah. It's form and function working together. So I'll show you where that becomes functional. So on the, on the image there, hey, that works kind of nice. Mm -hmm. Over here, we need, okay, maybe we need a little more shadow, mm -hmm. you know. Let's add a little border. This is pretty common uh, on a button like this mm -hmm. to have a little bit of border stroke. So we'll go about there and maybe we'll thin that out like a two thirds, like mm -hmm. 0.7. And hey, now we can see that button. And um, I can see it on your, it's a little hard to see maybe on probably, that screen, but I can yeah. see it on your laptop a little more. So hey, this thing isn't amazing, but um, 
Yeah, that does the trick. We're gonna we're gonna roll with that. Let's yeah, we're gonna roll with that. In the spirit of time, we're gonna roll with that. And so you can see, like you know, this is a pretty major uh, thing that we need in the mm -hmm. app. And like visual visually, like it's a little challenging. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's maybe not what we want. And maybe when you're posting to Behance, you'd like leave that off. <laughs> People do that a lot. Right. That's yeah. true. So. Okay, so that's a good interaction find. Mm -hmm. um, let me, there's one other that I wanted to add. Sure. Which was this like story advance bar, I called mm -hmm. it. And so this is the basically straight from Instagram, which is fine because it's kind of a pattern here. Um, and I want to so put this So this is up. indicating that you have multiple videos yep, within totally. that one, okay. Yep, and see, oh man, we're at another, oh, no. we're at another interaction <laughs> design challenge here. <laughs> So, you know, let's actually walk this backwards. It's nice to label those buttons, mm -hmm. but we're, we're like in a little mm -hmm. bit of a pinch. Sure. Um, and so and I'm just And then it matches the one that brings all the text details on the bottom down too, so. Exactly, yeah. And that and that's, you know, at least we're trying, to, trying our best to coordinate it. Mm -hmm. um, so we're gonna add just like a little bit of a, yeah, not honestly on the stream, I mean, this is so subtle. Mm -hmm. You know, designing for iOS, you know that everybody's on really high quality screens. That's true. Um, so you can really dial these things in. Um, you'll just have to take my word for it that that added a little bit of <laughs> contrast. Um, okay, well, you know. Yeah. And also, if we're really getting into it, this isn't quite a circle. It's like a flattened rectangle <laughs> thing. But hey, we gotta keep moving. Um, and then, yeah, this is. We're just gonna paste that component here again. Resize this guy a little bit. Um, Zubair says, the girl seems to attack Brent. I hope you're not feeling attacked. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. She's a skilled surfer. I don't feel, I don't feel in danger here. So we're just gonna copy these across the top. Um, see, we're ending up with that resize thing again. We'll leave it on those, wow, keep moving quickly here. Uh, Beck is, it's the morning for her in New Zealand. Good morning, Beck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I just noticed that that was a comment. I was in the zen and here you yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, cool. So I think that's pretty good for mm -hmm. what we've got for interaction. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and talk about some visual design changes here we okay. can make. So first thing that's sticking out at me is we've got this white background mm -hmm. and there's nothing wrong with that, but I'd like to go to a little bit different color background. Okay. Um, and neither of those are quite it. Let's, let's modify this a little bit. And actually here, we'll do this. We'll go back to our uh, panel here. And I think let's add, actually I want it to be kind of like this one. Mm -hmm. um, but then I want to just have it be pretty, like a very light mm. kind of gray. Sure. Background-y kind of color. Um, and... So again, technical terms here. Background the background color. color. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. So let's add that color here. <laughs> and then I can go back over mm -hmm. um, and my design system. I maybe have to save it. Save it. Should bring in the... Uh, should bring in the fresh ones. There we go. There nice. came in. Editor. And we're kind of doing this on the fly here. Uh, but it's a little too blue. Let's make it just a little more. It's like a pretty, pretty subtle mm -hmm. difference. Um, oops. Color. Um, I love those creamy kind of off-white tones where it's like that. you might not even notice that it's there, but it's, it's very subtle. There we go. So now I got an update. I, you know, you could do that a little mm -hmm. differently, but I want to go ahead and it, it said, hey, this one broke because mm -hmm. I killed it. Uh, <laughs> so I'm just going to delete that and bring our, our new one in. Um, no, maybe I didn't change it very much. All right, well, we're just going to do this a little manually here. And again, this is funny because on the on this feed, you probably can't mm -hmm. even really notice uh, yeah. <laughs> the difference. So, this, oops, okay. I can tell a difference <laughs> from like when you have the white right next to it, you can see. Totally. Um, so what's a good way to uh, actually sort of didn't do that quite right. So we're just going to go ahead and bring this uh, 
this through. So I'm being kind of sneaky here because I actually have all these in a completed document. Uh, <laughs> and I'm trying to trying to illustrate for you guys how this uh, how this could work here. But let's do seeing a lot of you guys pop back into the chat. Thanks for joining back in. We've got about 18 minutes until we're gonna do our design feedback um, on Behance and Discord. So be sure to submit all of your dot designs there and we'll be giving you some feedback. There we go. So I just cheated here a little bit, but we'll make all of our, uh, all of our artboard backgrounds mm -hmm. here um, that color. Nice. And that looks a little better. Okay, so we've got some background color. Um, we've got a couple of different things to select here. We've got a style for our text picking. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got a component for our button there. Um, we could look at like the style for this text. Mm -hmm. um, and we could also look at a couple other things like the roundness of our uh, masks mm -hmm. here. Okay. Um, and then we've also got our home screen, so let's go ahead and apply that uh, color there. Um, you know, we talked about a couple of things like the weight of this icon, this home icon being a mm -hmm. little heavy. Um, but I think we're going to leave something like that. We've also got this title here kind of floating. Mm -hmm. Let's work on that a little bit. This one, this one I'm not super, uh, not super happy with. Sure. So let's look at some options. And so now, just to give some context, you know, mm -hmm. we are in this visual design point now. Okay. So I'm saying, hey, you know, let's say hypothetically we like this guy. Um, this app's coming together nicely. Let's refine this a little bit, make it look like something more polished. Because people notice, users notice, mm -hmm. uh, you know, they have different expectations for uh, what you're, what you're going to get from a different app based on how it looks. Yeah. Um, so we're making this guy a little, let's blow this one out a little more. Bring our opacity down. It's so like a real quick thing. We just added kind of this title card. Mm -hmm. It it doesn't. It kind of complements the um, our story here. Mm -hmm. it, it's it's um, has full contrast. We've got black mm -hmm. text on white background. Uh, it's kind of appended to the story. So mm -hmm. yeah, it might go over a little bit of the content, but hopefully not too much. Yeah. I'm using rounded corners on this. We had a couple other things that had rounded corners. Mm -hmm. I want to go into my mask here. Um, and round that out. Let's just go on this big image. Let's go 10. I'm going to do this on this mask over here as well. Let's go 10 here. And pretty quickly, even just with like that little change, mm -hmm. you know, we've, we've made kind of a big difference. Yeah, for sure. Um, it's looking a lot more polished already. Small thing like this hamburger, mm -hmm. you know, let's go up to two point. Uh, we had kind of decreased these, I think, in importance last time, but mm -hmm. sounds too much. Let's go like 1.3. Sure, there you go. Um, you know, we could revisit font size here. Um, mm -hmm. Just try a couple of other. Okay, that one's probably too small. 13 without the bold. You know, we don't yeah. want this to compete with the project. Mm -hmm. um, so let's just make that like that. Um, and then we added this piece. So I want to see if that's still working in prototyping. Um, this might go a little janky. <laughs> Yeah, so we can start that out. I'm, I'm kind of like, just we're just doing like a little bit of a grab bag here of pieces. Mm -hmm. um, prototyping, so this, let's call this, uh, let's just call this title, I'll call it Baja Days. Um, this also needs to be called, like we covered last time, this needs to be the same name. Mm -hmm. um, Right, and the grouping has to be on the same level. Yeah, so let's see how this looks. Transitions. So there we go. That one already, that helped quite yeah. a bit. Um, we've That's still got- That's looking really smooth. This guy's kind of disappearing. You know, that doesn't look very pro. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and bring this over. Let's call this one project title. Mm -hmm. Bring this over here. And we want this to basically animate at the same point, but then mm -hmm. we want it to disappear. Gotcha. Um, and there's a lot of different ways to kind of like approach this stuff. I'm just going to take that opacity down to zero. Yeah. Um, let's go ahead and hit play. And we should have kind of a nice transition here. Ooh. So see now how, nice. uh, mm -hmm. and hopefully this is coming through fine in the feed, but see how now we've got mm -hmm. this thing scales down yeah. with 
those buttons, and we've got a like real smooth. Did you kind of use auto animate on that? Yep, oh, this is auto right animate, and I'll show you how to do that. So uh, there's still a little bit of like finicking you might have to do, even if you're totally. using auto animate. Yeah, and you know this is a good example of like mm -hmm. how high fidelity do you have to go? Yeah. Um, you know, that's probably good for mm -hmm. our, like the next round of, of research and whatnot. Yeah. Um, there's a couple things like this bar isn't mm -hmm. in the group. Mm -hmm. um, we'd want right, to right. we'd want to take this this bar over, put it into our grouping sure. here. Um, we could do something better with those icon transitions. So Alexandra's asking, do you mean the name and group level must be in the same in order? Must be in the same order or the animation to work. Yeah, uh, short answer, yes. I can illustrate mm -hmm. that here a little bit. Um, group order, it depends on if they if those items are gonna like compete with each other. Mm -hmm. um, so if we had, would be a good example here. Oops. Um, if we had these, let's say if we had these icons higher up. Mm -hmm. So this is be kind of a crappy design, but <laughs> let's just say that we had these icons right up nested because sure. for you know we had something else down here or whatever. Um, if I have these icons, I'm just using hotkeys here, but I moved here. We'll do it so everybody can see. I move these. Uh, icons to the bottom layer. What's going to happen here is probably okay. Okay. That seems like okay. I didn't notice that too much. Mm -hmm. But let's go ahead and actually move these to the top layer. So notice how my artboard mm -hmm. here it made no difference. Mm -hmm. But what should happen is my image is going to go underneath those as it animates. And it's a little it hard so to see. Quick, so I couldn't yeah. see much, but. But when you're getting down to the nitty gritty mm -hmm. of uh, mm -hmm. of these pieces, like that's something that's a detail level yeah. that you do kind of have to be looking out for. Um, so order is kind of dependent on the particular design, mm -hmm. but the naming has to be the right. same for each. Right. Even if there's like a number at the end, you have to make sure it's like exactly the same. Totally. Like if we layer. had. Yeah, we've got Baja Days as individual. Even if this was Baja Days one, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. you know, title style one. Uh, did you see how that mm -hmm. then? It's it's flipping through right, and it's not right. smooth. If we just go ahead and change that back to Baja Days, uh, then now mm, I've got smooth a auto, auto animate on yeah. that. Yeah. You'll even notice it's like auto animating the transition between corner roundness because mm. it's that same image. Right, right. Um, I didn't even notice that. Yeah, so there's fun stuff like that. Um, so do you like to like pay attention to like micro animations too? So like sounds on your on your app, like if something happens, like subtle little sounds or like the icons are making little animations. Um, those little details like that. Yeah, I like, mm -hmm. I think, so there's also the haptic feedback. Mm -hmm. And, you know, on design apps, when you're like dragging something yeah. and you get it to snap in the middle, yeah. if you go, put it, you know, that can be mm -hmm. really satisfying. Mm -hmm. and, That's and, a good one. And it's, it's both satisfying, fun, and functional. Right, right. <laughs> uh, Makes you want to keep doing it. Exactly. That's mm -hmm. a nice, that's a nice piece to do. Um, you know, audio is a little mm -hmm. trickier. You mm -hmm. have to be kind of make sure that, you're not annoying people. Yes. Um, there's different apps. We don't that... want like a bell every time you press home. Or <laughs> yeah, something. yeah, yeah. That's maybe not great. <laughs> um, you know, but it's. I think it's a lot of like giving additional confirmation to an action that mm -hmm. might that might help you yeah. understand that it's completed. Yeah. Like home, you're gonna notice the page moved. Right. <laughs> that alignment one, it's it's a little more subtle. Mm -hmm. And there's also a physical relationship between if I was actually aligning something like into right. a groove, mm -hmm. it would kind of. Right, that's true. You know, true. when I made it, yeah. when, if I was yeah. like... Sliding it into exactly. the hole or something, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, if I was a woodworker instead of right. a pixel worker, right. you know, you'd get a lot more <laughs> stuff like that. Um, and so, Zubair asked where you got the images from. Uh, this image is from Adobe Stock. Okay. Um, so this is a nice image because uh, one, you know, it's a really high quality piece. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is also fully licensed, so I actually could be using this in, in the app. Yeah. Um, you have to look at like the exact license details that you get with it. Um, you know, for just 
like quick user research and mm -hmm. screenshot from Google. Yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, right, before you, gotta move you actually fast. pay for it. Yeah. yeah. Um, but, you know, this is also an image mm -hmm. like we could promo, this is a fantastic image. We could promo this both, you know, in the app store, in mm -hmm. our app, across mm -hmm. advertising for it. We could make a sweet, like, motion graphics video yeah. of the app using mm -hmm. this, put it on a billboard. Um, so, yeah, the same thing. It's like mm -hmm. fidelity level. Yeah, totally. Yeah, that's a good nice. question. Cool, thanks for the questions, guys. Yeah. So we've got about eight minutes until we're gonna review some of you guys' designs. Um, is there any, like, last minute screen you wanna add or? Uh, I'm trying to think of, mm -hmm. you know, we've covered, like, we've brought it to a little bit better visual design. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a lot of detail in all these things. Yeah. Um, and it's important to know, like I said, which which piece you're at. But mm -hmm. pretty quickly, we've gone from wireframes to an app that feels fairly complete. Mm -hmm. um, we could do, let's just like do a couple grab bags of visual design stuff, because sure. I think it's probably what I've talked the least yeah. about. Mm -hmm. And one thing is we can do a little gradient background here. Okay. So I'm just gonna drop in a square. You can do this in, as the artboard style. Mm. Um, but the square gives us a couple additional options. So my standard gradient is this kind of like top to bottom, mm -hmm. silver to dark thing. I wanna keep white on top, um, but we had kind of these this cool like steel blue mm -hmm. kind of color and it's probably too dark, but let's put it in there and see what that kind of looks like. Ooh. So that's a little too, that's a little too much. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm just gonna bring us up the scale here. That's nice. That's It's pretty colorful. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna come retreat, <laughs> come back a little, uh, and then lower the opacity probably quite a bit. And again, this is one of those ones that you kind of have to be on device to really see. Yeah. Um, but just adding that very subtle gradient. Mm -hmm. A lot of times we see really powerful, strong gradients. Mm -hmm. And if you say, oh, look at that gradient, it might be too strong. Right. <laughs> Uh, so this is like a quick ad, you know, we're trying to polish this up for, uh, you know, take it out, do some more research, maybe mm -hmm. show to some stakeholders, you know, for like a little startup do or mm -hmm. we've got an investor meeting, hey, it's gotta look flashy. <laughs> um, yeah, I should have made that a component before I, we'll just redo that real quick so we can uh, make this a square, component that. And then, you know, this way we can, anytime that we want to make some changes to that, it comes across all of them. Mm -hmm. And if, you know, if the value of these isn't like clear, I'll just show you here real quick. Let's say all of a sudden we rebranded, <laughs> rebrand, and we totally changed our our, uh, our colors. I think we have to apply that out to, uh, to all the styles. Um, man, I'm blowing it today on, uh, <laughs> yeah. That's what life's all about. You see, <laughs> we're real designers, real people. <laughs> so there's a whole bunch of new, really powerful things that they've done for components. Um, they used to be symbols. They've changed how it works slightly. It's far mm -hmm. more powerful, um, but it does work a little bit differently. So I apologize yeah, for, that's okay. for that one. Um, so yeah, quick visual design. It's kind of funny because mm -hmm. I'm like, this is blending into our XD background. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go ahead and look at it on our play button here. Um, you can probably tell the difference, you know, it's not this white background mm -hmm. now. Um, let's shop around for some other improvements that we could make. Um, let's see where we're at here. So there's like a broken, I don't know if you guys saw that, there's a broken prototype one. Um, so we had that question about prototypes, so we could, so I open up my design here, mm -hmm. click on, okay, that one didn't animate quite right. Um, and I think it's because of the naming thing. So let's go over to here. So this was different. It wasn't grouped. Um, and it wasn't named the same. Previous one he named Baja Days. Mm -hmm. And let's, let's just try that path again. Baja Days. I want to open my project. I'm going to click on my text. And there it animated nicely with that piece. Very nice. Um, we could go one farther and bring our text bounds. I'm gonna group these. I'm gonna call it text boundary. I'm gonna 
copy that. Um, and then I'm just going to put it on our canvas here. But it's going to be, um, but it's going to be zero opacity. So we're going to go through that flow again. Someone's asking in the chat, Andrea, how do you put all the artboards together with a white background on the back? Oh, do you mean in Behance? Um, in that case, I just make sure that all my artboards are the same color. Um, but then when I upload, there's a setting in Behance that you can change that there's no spacing in between. I think that might be what you're asking, but let me know if not. <laughs> so we've got only about three minutes left. So let's this go ahead and go solid. to the cheat sheet, which is okay. the finished design. Okay. <laughs> um, and yeah, so you, quickly we've gone through quite mm -hmm. a few you know, changes here. And so this one I've had quite a bit more time to work mm -hmm. with. Um, and I think there's still some prototype. I was changing some things right before, mm -hmm. so I think some of the prototyping's broken. But real quick, we can take our three minutes here and kind of talk about visual design. Sure. Um, so like I said, we've got this sort of like the right gray. I was mm -hmm. on a hunt before for the right gray. <laughs> Uh, I added in a couple things. This is on iPhone 10, so I'm, I'm cheating okay, a little bit. Okay, you got a little bit more space. Add in some things like iPhone, you know, you really want to make sure people know what time it is, and so I was trying to not right. take away those settings. Um, so I called the app My Story. Ooh, And I like we had a little that. bit more time to go through on exactly what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. um, this happens to be a different image. Baja Days for Surf Magazine. Um, but same thing, like I've got this little interaction here. Mm -hmm. Expands up. Uh, I can go same thing. Do my my menu here. Mm -hmm. uh, I've got my controls, oh, okay. very similar. Mm -hmm. And then there's a couple others uh, which didn't get linked. We can fix those real quick. Everyone's um, saying that it looks very nice. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna make sure that our transition goes over to our transition, and our duration goes over to. Our duration. Um, and so I've had a little more time to get into some other interactions. Mm -hmm. Like oh. this whole screen okay. is getting at trans. Uh, oh, transitions uh, between each of the videos. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And so you can see how we've really built ourselves a lot of options mm -hmm. to make, you know, I can uh, draw on the screen here maybe, to make uh, our room for our image. Mm -hmm and also room for our controls here. Right, right. So even though this is a pretty robust mm -hmm. system, yeah, um, yeah it's, it's, it uh, ends up working pretty well. Nice. So, um, yeah, so with the minute left, I mean, you know, there's a lot here. It, it gives you an idea that there's a lot that goes into yeah. app designs. Yeah, and um, I see we even had like a camera one camera screen down there. Yep, camera screen and mm -hmm. just from a product perspective thinking through like mm -hmm. this is for a little more advanced people sure. so persistent exposure control mm -hmm. uh, on off for the flash which mm -hmm. you kind of already have but it's in a bad spot I think. Yeah. You know some kind of image filter mm -hmm. being able to on the fly like choose if I want this to be a loop video mm -hmm. stuff like mm -hmm. that. Um, little boomerang. And then this is just like a feed of the community which okay. you kind of kind of yeah. mentioned last time. Yeah, yeah. So. Nice. Um, this looks awesome. Does anyone yeah. have any feedback on this? Everyone's saying it looks great. Very nice. <laughs> yeah, we'll looks great. Wow. Cool. <laughs> um, cool. You've got like a few seconds if you guys want to submit anything to the design feedback, like 20 seconds. <laughs> I'll show one other cool thing. I was uh, trying to be cool like Andrea Ooh, here. So <laughs> I put it up on awesome. the old. Awesome. Uh, yeah, you'll have to add this to your Behance. Yeah. Uh, and same thing, this was a, a phone screen that I grabbed mm -hmm. off or online. Yeah. Um, and on the feed, I don't know, it's a little low contrast coming through, but we got... No, I think it looks uh, great. We got a nice little clean design here. So. Very cool. Awesome. Well, thanks so much. That was so yeah. great to watch you work and cool. learn some of your little gold nuggets of tips. <laughs> cool. All right, so let's go ahead and dive into Discord and... We can jump back in there after a little bit um, for a little wrap up, but let's go ahead and, oh man, there's, you guys have been submitting so many of these. I think I'll start at the bottom. And these are from our daily creative challenge that we had earlier today in XD. And we'll go ahead and give you some feedback. Um, 
and look through some of these. So the challenge was to create a music creation app. So the first day we created the home screen, the second day we created some icons and buttons, and then today the challenge was to create a voice um, search trigger. So searching by voice. So let's see what you guys have been coming up with. This is from, I'll scoot this over, Cash0123. Ooh, he's got a prototype. Okay. Let me make that Whoa. go to the beginning. Whoa. Whoa, look at that. Look at that logo. Oh, this is scary. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't think this is the music one. But that, like, the transitions were awesome. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna skip to another one. Oh, let's give him a, we did penguins today, so I'll go with penguins. Let's see, Drago, challenge day three, okay. Oh, okay, I like how you added the, uh, like, circles there for listening. Very nice, pretty minimalistic. Is that the same one? I think so. Okay. Give you a little penguin. Let's see. Okay, this is from Kate. Um, let's read her description. So it includes a quick access wheel similar to the classic iPod design. All right, would be great to include haptics with this. Nice. So she calls it zealable. So we got the quick access menu up here some start mixing sounds and the community down here. <coughs> Excuse me. Any feedback from you? Yeah, uh, so the challenge was sir, for around voice triggers? Yeah, I think this was probably just for Monday from the home screen gotcha. now. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so the, even though I said about like, if the, <laughs> you notice the gradient, maybe it's too much. Mm -hmm. uh, this I think is a cool gradient. Yeah. Uh, it's definitely loud. Mm -hmm. So you gotta be aware of like using it appropriately. Mm -hmm. um, but especially the like kind of visual decoration for this pitch page, mm -hmm. I think it's pretty cool. It's got a lot of uh, like those circles in the background are pretty cool. Yeah. Um, the, this came up last time. So the dark background, you know, mm -hmm. it's just more challenging. Sure. Um, and I don't, again, I don't know if there's like a justification for this being so dark mm -hmm. um, and for that like section of the screen. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I'd, I'd probably look at maybe trying that as a white one. Uh, yeah. The black on green is like pretty aggressive. Mm -hmm. I actually really like this little scroll. I, I'm like curious what exactly happens. It looks like you're scrolling through some of the instruments or like effects or something. Um, I almost wonder if this should be like a layer after you click on start editing or something so you can scroll through all the instruments, but I'm curious to see how that would look in a prototype, how you would click through there. Yeah, I think that's pretty cool too. That's a mm -hmm. good, there's a good visual design opportunity here mm -hmm. to um, make that wheel kind of mm -hmm. like on its own layer yeah. uh, where that instruments and community section has a shadow kind of coming yeah. uh, up a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then maybe creation tools is like that green color from the top, mm -hmm. bring that down and then make the instruments and community like a gray or white or something. Yeah. Um, or you could also look at doing like connecting that gradient top to bottom, like the, mm. the top part here is a flat uh, color and mm -hmm. gradient down here. That's so. true. Awesome. Well, great job. Let's see who that was. Awesome job, Kate. I'll give you a penguin. <laughs> Let's see who we've got. This one, did we look at this one yesterday? This is from Sargeel. Do you remember if we did or no? Uh, I don't think we did. Okay. So he's got, actually this, I know this is also on Behance too, so we can scroll through his. So he's got the home screen with all of the creators up here. We've got the instrument showcase and then some of the creation tiles down here. It's looking nice. Cool, this is good. I think this has a lot of, of improvements uh, based on the feedback we were sort of giving for some of the ones we looked at yesterday. Mm -hmm. And yeah, this one, it, it has decent structure to it. Mm -hmm. um, I like how your latest creation is at the top mm -hmm. and then like top creators and again, you know, it's okay to label stuff, but you need to be thinking about how do you make it crystal clear, like without a label. Mm -hmm. In this case, Top Creators helps me understand, okay, 
I see my latest creation, I can play it. I'm probably gonna be able to play the top creator's music. Mm -hmm. And then start creating, it does help me give an understanding of like why are all these things right. What's going together. On What's yeah, the choose your instrument. Mm -hmm. um, you know, people explore interfaces. Sometimes it's hard to have the full story from mm -hmm. just like a click true. and tap kind of thing. Yeah. Um, I'm loving this bottom nav here. Like I like that you use the little red, taking the red to uh, yeah, indicate what screen you're on. Then we've got a little waveform here for the listening. Cool. That's that's looking good. Let's see if we have another one. Um, I see one of the voice ones. I wonder if anyone did the voice. Let's see. Oh, that was the search with voice. Okay. So this is by Kendall. So she said to turn up the volume so we can hear it. Let's see if we can hear it. And we might be getting I some uh, HDMI because <laughs> yeah, of how we're hooked up here. We okay, might be. but she said drums. Ooh. Yeah, but good. So this is on tablet. That's a new one we haven't seen on tablet before, I think. Yeah, it's cool. It gives you a lot more room to, because mm -hmm. a lot of these, you know, we're trying to fit a lot on these screens. Mm -hmm. um, so this is nice hierarchy. And I'd say the best thing that this does compared to ones we saw yesterday mm -hmm. is it gives me a clear understanding of what I'm going to search. Sure. Because now I feel like I'm going to be searching instruments and trending beats. Right, right. And I'm going to assume that you might also like is also a beat. Um, so that's definitely how this screen is set up to, mm -hmm. to think about. If this person, if the creator of the screen was thinking, oh, search would be actually searching my community, mm -hmm. you know, there on the left, then I'd say the search bar is like, you know, you could rethink it. Mm -hmm. and, and now that I say that actually the search bar right now is global. So that search bar to search instruments and beats should mm -hmm. be slightly nested down uh, mm. kind of right here. Sure. If you wanted to search it, if you wanted to search everything, then yeah. Right. But then you got to think about where it goes because if it's searching mm -hmm. everything, you're probably gonna have to do like a full screen like results takeover. Right, right. Um, and whereas if you had it as just searching instruments, mm -hmm. it could maybe just change the population of that existing mm -hmm. list. Whether it's like by cards or some kind of grouping, so we know it's only a certain area of elements that we're searching. Exactly. Yeah. So that that's a good connection of like you know you have the affordance of a search. Mm -hmm. bar and you also have to think about what do people think it's searching based right. on its placement. Right, right. And then this is the results. So you can, okay, you can play each of them, tracks with drums. So it was only searching the drums. Oh, it was searching, I think it was just searching that area up there. Oh no, artists with drums. Okay. So it's searching everything down here. That's cool. Yeah, this is a pretty strong design. Uh, like yeah. I said, I think hierarchy overall is you know really really pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, as we see for the search terms with drums, like that is kind of a global search bar placement, and mm -hmm. I don't think it's searching my community. If it is, that relationship's not clear. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing is my community on the left is mm -hmm. kind of like it's not global across the top, but it's like local global. Yeah, <laughs> uh, it's regional. Sure. <laughs> uh, for. Um, the area horizontally across the screen. Right. So this seems like maybe this is a tab selector. Mm -hmm. um, I guess I'm not quite sure what's going to happen when I switch on my community. Sure. It could it could like expand that panel, which right, I think would right. be fair to you. Mm -hmm. Oh man, we can do like the weatherman. Oh no, yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm at the edge of the screen. At this. Yeah. <laughs> this right here. Yeah. <laughs> we need a pointer so, or something. Yeah. <laughs> what is it? Where'd my arm go? Crap. Yeah. This hurts. <laughs> I, I guess my main feedback would be just adding some more padding in between, some, like padding in between this area. You've got some, but I think you can afford a little bit more, like maybe making these a little bit smaller. Since we are on tablet, so I would assume tablet's, you know, pretty large. These could even be a little smaller too. Um, add some spacing in between, a little bit more spacing in between, but overall, this is awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, Kendall, let's give you a penguin. Let's see, and Oliver, I think we might have looked at that one. Ooh, what's this? Ally Donahue. Oh, I like this little, oh, actually, never mind, I made that. <laughs> <laughs> that was in the UI kit. <laughs> I just love that design. <laughs> I wonder who came up with that. Okay, Kendall, got Sargeal. 
<laughs> hey, it's you know it's important to believe in your own design. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Victor. So this is from Victor now. Let me All read right. This. Ooh, nice. Ooh. Okay, so the slide in. <laughs> I actually really like this. I think this is a very strong design. I like that he took each of the um, like the backgrounds on each person in the community and kind of exaggerated it. But I don't know how that would work if everyone has their own background and like mm -hmm. drawing that out from the face. That's a super good example of where, you know, the Behance art meets mm -hmm. reality. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. Which like we love Behance art, like keep it coming, but yeah. it's important as you're learning about design to know yeah. that, to know that difference. Uh-huh, for sure. Um, yeah, so this one uses copy, which is mm -hmm. so text, mm -hmm. you know, which is, Again, fine, but you got to be thinking about where you're using it. Sure. Uh, the best thing that this one does is it, is it gives you know good padding to make yeah. me clearly see which piece of UI the con mm -hmm. the the text is associated with. Yeah. Um, the bottom one, community song. It's a pretty straightforward title. Mm -hmm. Com the, the aspect of community is going to be hard to recreate mm -hmm. right. <laughs> in user interface. <laughs> right. So that, like that's an appropriate title. Sure. The top one want to create the masterpiece. Um, that's very stylized, mm -hmm. you know, it's got personality, which can be good. Mm -hmm. But in this case, I think it's making it a little unclear what those actions right, are. Right. Create is, you know, is a great verb. Mm -hmm. um, masterpiece, I guess, you know, I could see somebody coming up with this whole like, oh, in the app, masterpiece right, means right. this. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and so it's like, I, I'm a little confused there. Mm -hmm. um, is it songs? Is it exactly. Like a vocal thing? Is it more of a DJ thing? Not really sure. Exactly. And it's also in the phrase of a question when mm -hmm. it's kind of describing this interface right, case. Right. Whereas like questions you see used a lot of more effectively for different onboarding steps. Mm. Um, you know, I used to work at TurboTax, so it's the interview format. Right, right. <laughs> it's doing your taxes by right. being asked questions about what happened mm -hmm. in your life. Mm -hmm. With this, it should be a little bit more of a title, like right. create your song. Right, right, right. Choose mm -hmm. your instrument. Mm -hmm. uh, more of a call to action than like, what do you think? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But nice. uh, vis so yeah, cool. visually it's strong, yeah. sweet, uh, sweet phone frame, matched yeah. some of the colors there. Uh, awesome. Yeah, I think it's a solid design. Thanks, Victor. Thank you for sharing that. We'll give you a penguin. Let's see, we've got Riaz. This is a very colorful one. And the splash screen, okay. That one's nice. I don't have too much feedback on that one. Let's see if we can find um, like one of the voice ones. Let's see. Ooh, this one's kind of unique. We've got some neon there. I actually really like this iconography down here. I haven't seen too much of the circles with the strokes around them. Give you a penguin. Yeah, the strokes can be a nice way to kind mm -hmm. of um, uh, give some insurance that it'll that those called the inner mm -hmm. color, the fill color, will show up nicely. Yeah. Because you could put that on a variety of different backgrounds, and that white helps make sure that there's a little bit of buffer between mm -hmm. color contrast. Mm -hmm. Like if we took the white off from all these like that purple one in top left, mm -hmm. that one's probably going to lose a little bit because uh, it's similar right. to the blue. Mm -hmm. um, so that's, that's, that's a good, that's a good one of those good little tricks. Yeah. Um, I would say though, if you're using all these colors, I would say maybe changing this, it looks like you're using like the main, like call to action mm, or accent mm, colors, yeah, the teal. One. So I would say not using this teal as one of these kind of sub colors just like using another one. Otherwise it seems like, oh, this is the most important one out of all of these. Um, but that's kind of minor. And I think, I don't were those the colors from the challenge kit? Um, no, not all of these. Gotcha. Yeah, so you can, these are, they're all nice colors, but mm -hmm. they could relate to each other a little bit more. Mm -hmm. um, so like when you're in, especially in XD is the one I can remember, memorize. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, trying to only move, you know, vertically or move horizontally. Uh, across that will help keep you in the same like hue and mm, um, sure, sure. you can you can play around with right, sort right. of more coordinated. Yeah, because it seems like maybe like this blue isn't necessarily the same kind of tone tonal range as this one. Like this one's a little more dusty purple, mm -hmm. and this is like a woo, you know, purple. Yeah, but, and like the the brown is kind of an mm -hmm. outlier, but there's probably right. like a golden mm -hmm. color nearby that would that would yeah. that would fit. Um, 
Good points. So, yeah. Good points. Those are, it's hard to describe. It'd be easier yeah. to yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> easier to show. Um, let's see. Okay. Let's jump right into B hands here. You guys are loving the gradients. Okay. Let's see if I can zoom in because it's a little small. So we've got creation of the day. We've got some classic pop rock. Okay. Very neat. <laughs> Valinado, I don't know what that is. I was just reading the comments. I see my coworker Chrissy jumped in. We uh, <laughs> missed her trolling opportunity. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Too late. Well, we'll still jump back. Yeah, just we're gonna jump back. Yeah. Bit. <laughs> and then community down here. What do you think? Any comments on this one? Uh, so this one's cool. It's we were just talking about like different background colors mm -hmm. and strategies. So this one uses the uh, teal fill. Mm -hmm. uh, bottom nav area, and then the rest of the whole sheet is is white, yeah. and that's something I think we've seen a lot of these. There's this split, mm -hmm. and this is a good example of like if we filled in the top area there where it says ENG, which mm -hmm. I assume means English in yeah. the search, uh, we wouldn't really gain anything right uh, by that being there, and it actually lets us get a little closer. We can use mm -hmm. more of that room. Mm -hmm. You know, this logo is going right up kind of the top here. Yeah. Um, this is random, but this kind of looks like a banner ad. <laughs> yeah, it's, that's what I thought it was at first. There's nothing wrong with the design, but yeah, it it's just very different. <laughs> uh, the photo fill, the text. Yeah. Um, if that was and creation, it seems kind of like stock imagey too. True. Yeah. If you use stock imagey things elsewhere, it wouldn't seem like it, but it seems like it's out of place a little. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, I was just saying creation of the day with like a play button and no mm. image. Um, you know, yes. and a waveform, time counter, some mm -hmm. of these things that are like music player control. Yeah. That's a good point. We've seen a lot of ones that are f that are fill colors. This mm -hmm. one is out outline color. What mm -hmm. do you think of that? Um I think it doesn't necessarily match super well with these. Like these are filled down here. And then these are not, so I feel like the instruments are more important than what's going on here, just because they stand out a little more to me. But I would think that this area would be more important in like our level of hierarchy. So, um, yeah. What do you think? Uh, yeah, I like the white, the white mm -hmm. fill. So using color as a stroke. I think mm -hmm. you run into some contrast issues. Mm -hmm. The top left, the white one, is is a bit challenging, and then uh, the lower right, the green. Mm -hmm. You know, those are kind of your the white one or the yellow one. I don't think meets the contrast ratio for yeah. accessibility. The green one's probably on the edge. Um, so you got to think about that. Mm -hmm. And then yeah, same thing. It's very disjointed from the mm -hmm. uh, the other icons down there. Yeah, very different styles. Let's see if she has another. Okay. And it's also repeating. I know you're kind mm -hmm. of trying to stay within the challenge icon set, but um, you know it might be a little confusing that those icons are repeated since mm. they are kind of doing different things. Right. They're related, but right, a little right. different. So I, I don't like this guitar, and then this gu guitar is a little different down there versus this guitar, or maybe that's a banjo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. There might be. That's true. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's just something to keep an eye on, like yeah. of how easy it is to parse the differences, because mm. that gets to the visual thing. Like I see the title; it says instruments, mm -hmm. but if I took those titles away, I took yeah. rock away and instruments away, I'm mm -hmm. gonna be very confused as to what right. what's going on there. That's true. So. That's true. Let's jump back to Discord. Scroll up a little. Let's go to this one, Olga. Ooh, we got a crazy big selector here. This is mm. exciting. Okay, this is exciting. I'm like curious what's going on here. I think this means like you're adding each of the instruments for one song, so maybe you have like four more spaces for instruments left. I would maybe like a call to action of like what I can do next, like how I can edit those sounds, like if I wanna add a reverb or something, or if I wanna change the, the pitch or tone, um, that would be in like the next section. Um, yeah, I'm curious like what, what the next call to action is there. But I'm really liking this. Very unique. Yeah, I like this direction. It's different than the ones we've seen. Mm -hmm. I think that this is like a great frame to put out in a brainstorm. And now mm -hmm. my brain is going to all these triggers yeah. of, hey, we could go in this direction, or hey, mm -hmm. we could go in that direction with this like sawn assembly tool. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a little unclear, like Andrea said, of which piece is supposed to do what. Sure. 
Is that a record player in the middle? Are those different audio tracks? Oh, I didn't even is notice that. Is the green that. It does look like a record maraca player. a button to maraca? <laughs> Which it might be, because the other one's selected. Right, right. But that's kind of unclear. That mm -hmm. relationship is unclear. Right. Um, if I hit the button to Maraca, does that go <laughs> somewhere to be recorded? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, That's a good thing to think about. Yeah, stuff like that. Cool. Well, okay, I'm gonna give you a little penguin. Thanks guys so much for submitting these. I do wanna leave a little bit of time so we can um, go back to your design and give kind of a wrap up. We've only got about five minutes left or so. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for submitting those. And I'll be back tomorrow on at 11.30 for our design challenge. So keep submitting and I'll check the hands as well. So I feel like we got a lot accomplished today. Yeah. The video app. We still jumped ahead to the completed one. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> yeah, so we had a couple items we can come back to here with just a little bit of time that mm -hmm. we've got. Um, now that we're looking at kind of, actually I'll zoom into, let's do this. Let's get as much as we can here. So these are kind of the main screens that we edited. Mm -hmm. uh, I did add in here, this is just my second project. Yeah. Um, but, oh, my head is over. A couple <laughs> of these two, you know, like that. Um, so we went from in, you know, this quick two sessions, mm -hmm. total concept, total wireframe, mm -hmm. out to final visuals. And, you know, where I left the other document is really not that far from where this one is. Sure. It's those tweaks that, that take yeah. a little while. Um, but you could see how the importance of that wireframe step allowed mm -hmm. us to understand what's the interaction challenge, which right. is how do we fit, you know, these different edit concepts along, or sorry, controls along mm -hmm. with the uh, image itself. Mm -hmm. And we also talked like a lot about research. Uh, mm -hmm. We saw up close some of the like core interaction design challenges mm -hmm. of the back <laughs> button. Some of these things that honestly I hadn't accounted for mm -hmm. on a six, seven, eight iPhone mm -hmm. screen size. Right. Like, you know, this back button fits nicely on the mm -hmm. 10. <laughs> right. Because uh, this is still a 16 by yeah. 9 box. <laughs> um, so I think it was a good, like, fairly real, you yeah. know, example. Mm -hmm. um, we had, I have a couple notes here on items come back to it. Research is one of them. Do you okay. remember one of the other topics? So was there something else? Um, people were asking about books, and I think we answered that. Let's take the research since we only have about two minutes left. Sure. Yeah. So um, I'm trying to think of which, and, and feel free to jump a question out here if you've if you've got uh, a follow up question about research. But that's the biggest thing that we don't touch on, mm -hmm. you know, in these sessions because it's mm -hmm. time consuming to go out and collect research and yeah. synthesize it uh, and go through all all these steps. But it's really easy to go out and find people to tell you that they like your app <laughs> once you've told them what it is. Mm. And it's really important to think about how do I treat this like a scientist yeah. and not bias that person at all. Right. So it's not uncommon, especially in these like concept things, where I'll just give an app to somebody and say, hey, tell mm -hmm. me about this. Right, without any context. Zero context. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you want to start learning about how to ask follow-up questions. Mm -hmm. And the best thing are very open-ended ones, mm -hmm. which is, uh, tell me more about that. Mm -hmm. not, Without being sp too specific. Yeah, like not what did you think about mm -hmm. the gradient, I think on the gradient. <laughs> right, Not, right. you know, what did you think about that, about uh, that menu? Or what did you think about yeah. that, like, feature that you could right. add this? Right, right. Just tell me what you thought about the app. Mm -hmm. uh, you want to see where people go. They might mm -hmm. say, oh, this is... Oh, what, the last one was, this is a great surf dating app. Yeah, yeah that was the other one. <laughs> Swipe left and right. Swipe left and right on, on the surfer. You right. know, you might find that somebody's totally uh, in a different spot than yeah. you are. That's true. Yeah, cool. a couple of quick tips. Yeah, very helpful. Well, guys, we're nearing the end of our stream. Thank you so much for joining us, Brent. I'm so glad we could have you on. Yeah, happy to be here. Yeah. There's lots to talk about. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> well, this was great. It was so great watching you develop your design for your video app. And guys, we will be back here tomorrow for the XD Daily Creative Challenge. Unfortunately, this is Brent's last day. It was only a two-day stream today. Um, but thank you guys all so much for joining, and we'll see you again tomorrow. Bye. See you later.